Let's go, ADDC. Here we go. Hmm. Man, this place is fucking huge. Keep Damn, it close huh? to your chest, Sugira. We're supposed to blend in, remember? Now let's settle down and wait for Shono. But what if you already went home? Come on, let's ask somebody. I don't want to sit here all night if he's never coming out. Good point. Let's go, Yagami-san. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask you something? Yes? Is Shono-san from the 89 team still here? Oh, uh, most likely. He's always one of the last researchers to leave. Do you have an appointment with him, sir? Not exactly, no. Oh, Yagami-san, good evening. Oh, you're... Oh. Hashimoto. I showed you to Shono's lab the other day. Oh, right. Good to see you. Do you need something more from him? Well... Yagami-san, there he is. It's Shono. Gotta run. Uh, what was that about? Where is he? Hmm. Over there, by the stairs. Uh huh. We going? All right. Whoa, a cat? More cats? Crap. I don't think they have a cat in here. More like. Outside, hmm. gotta be kidding me, right? That is gonna bug me if I don't find uh -huh. it. Hey, all right, done with that cat. All right, let's see. Yeah. There. There he is. Suspicious. Oh, the one next to it. What the? Found him. Looks like he's talking to Keto. What do we do? I don't know. Let me see if I can get some more points here. Uh, if there's anything else that I search for. Oh. Right. Hey, suspicious. See? So it's kind of cool that uh, it allows you to kind of track other hmm. people and get some points from it what as well. So. All right, cool. I'll stop the investigation. That's enough points. Okay, let's move in. Going for the kill. He's gonna start well, running. If it isn't Yagami-san, Kamurocho's finest private eye. Mm -hmm. You again. This had better be the last time I see you in this center. Are you aware that I filed a complaint with the Bar Association about you? Aren't you the Vice Minister of Health? My name is Ichi Nose. Yeah, I remember you from the other day. Looks like you come here often. Of course. The success of AD9 is a matter of national importance. As such, there are a great many discussions that need to be had. Patents, legislation, the like. Now I suggest you leave before I call the guards to escort you out. <sighs> so much for the plan. Shono's gonna be on red alert after that. Doubt he'll be coming down through the lobby now. What do we do? 
We going? Uh, find a way. Where's that? Where's that girl earlier? She's gonna be able to help, right? Knew it. Hashimoto-san. Sorry for running off. Hashimoto. It's all right. I, um, saw what happened. Dr. Shono slipped away from you, huh? Yeah. We just wanted to talk, too. Hmm. He has been especially busy lately. Lately, he only goes home once every three days or so. Even so, he makes his morning rounds at the hospital every single day without fail. I can't overstate how much respect I have for him. What do you mean, rounds? It's a little custom of his. He takes a walk around the hospital every morning. Been doing it for years. Right. He did the same three years ago. Passion like his is what's going to make or break our research. And with that, I should be going. Sorry to be so curt. It's fine. Goodbye, then. Security on Shono's lab is airtight. Can't get in without a special gold key card. But that's not the case for the hospital wing. Meaning, we have some time to kill until Shono's rounds. Wait, you want to chill till the morning and ambush him in the hospital? Yeah, just have to sneak in between now and then. Guess the next question is, where do we get in? Let's check the map. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the map. Uh. Hmm. Ah, let's examine again. This is the garage for the hospital. The service entrance, that is. Anyone who makes deliveries parks down here. <laughs> this could work. That's it? <laughs> uh, is there anything else? That's Suspicious. Worth... That's worth checking out? I mean... What the... Wait. Hey. Hmm. What the security gate? The research wing is just past here. Hey, suspicious. Okay, there's nothing else. What the? I guess that's done. <laughs> guess we're sneaking in through the garage, huh? Yeah. Come on, let's head outside. We should go scope the place out. Going? Can I help you? Are you from the Yagami Detective Agency? That's right. I'm the head of security here. The name's Mashiko. The Vice Minister has instructed me to see you two out. Ichinose-san did? You blind or something? We're already leaving. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to escort you the rest of the way. That's a lot of guys for an escort. <laughs> hey, where the hell are you taking us? Answer me, asshole. This should be fine. Mashiko san, yeah? What exactly did Ichinose tell you to do? Up your wire. Make sure you never show your face here again. The fuck? That doesn't look like standard issue guard equipment. <laughs> That's cause it's not. This is more of a uh personal effect. <laughs> Oh, let me guess. You're off the clock. You bet. I'm on break, and I'm ready to blow off some steam. Now fight me! <laughs> Come on. Ooh, ouch. Wrong 
wrong guy. That's okay. Take these guys out fight first. in so easy true though ultimately we have the vice minister to thank for that so how's it look any different from three years ago not even a little bit we going yes yeah, sir we are going all right You're not going in? I lose my perfectly good smoking spot? We'll be fine here for now. Just gotta wait for dawn. <sighs> hmm. Yagami-san, have you decided how you're gonna approach Shono? We'll just have to confront him head on. Where we go from there depends on his response. You don't want to negotiate with him? I doubt we have the time for that. After all, this is probably the only chance we'll get to talk to Shono before Ayabe's trial. Guess so, huh? Meaning, we don't have time to waste on negotiation. Gotcha. Speaking to Shono, I actually had an idea. What's that? Well, the murder at the ADDC three years ago. The thought is that Shono framed Okubo for that and got away with it, right? Mm-hmm. But you defended Okubo, and won. Wouldn't the cops have started looking for the real killer once they realized Okubo wasn't their guy? I'm sure they did. But it wasn't long until Okubo killed again. They didn't have much reason to keep searching, I would imagine. Mm. Exactly. Everyone pegged him as the murderer. Makes sense they'd think he's the one responsible for Wakusan, too. But don't you think that's kind of convenient? For one person in particular, I mean. Huh? The guy who's doing human experiments at the ADDC. Shona. Your point? Come on. Basically, I think he killed Emi Terasawa and pinned the blame on Okubo. With all he had to lose, don't you think Shono had a motive? Exactly. I guess, but I know you're right. Emi-chan would have been a threat. But could he really do it? How long have you been thinking this? Since you told me what a mess Okubo is now. It was just a feeling. 
Honestly, I wanted to believe he didn't kill her. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Emi-chan was such a good person. I wasn't gonna let it slide. Not after what Okubo-kun did to her. But after all this time, it turns out, Shono is the real killer? Nothing's for sure without evidence. This is all just unfounded speculation. But doesn't it make you want to talk to Shono even more? Yeah. I've never been this ready for morning. I know I, you know, they want to do like a big reveal that Yagami is wrong and everything, but come on. I think they could have done so much better with the story. you get in here? I just want to ask you a few questions, Dr. Shono. Well, I don't have anything I can say to you. Apologies. I need you to handle this. I have to go. Where are you going? This won't take long. Sorry. I can't let you go any further. Call security. Shono! <laughs> Let's go, Yagami-san. We can't let him get away. It's our only chance. We're finding a bunch of researcher. No, I don't want to fight them. Shona, wait! You won't get away. Sokoka! This is Shono. Thirty seconds. Just get over here. Wait. I got 30 seconds. What does that mean? I got 30 seconds. This is Shono. Three minutes. I can't wait for three minutes. Now you got it. Get, get, get some of that, uh... Just getting good! There you go. Whew. Here we go again. Let's go. Uh, uh, 
There's something about Shono. I mean, he seems kind of weak, you know? But, hmm. Open up! That's hey. what I'm more interested in. Do you hear me? <sighs> Funny that we'd end up here of all places. This is the room, right? Where Wakusan was staying? The man who died after you used him as a test subject for 89. Why'd you do it, Shono? For the glory? Thought nobody'd notice one missing dementia patient? What are you talking about? Get out of here! This is trespassing! Huh. <laughs> you sure you want us to go? Uh, huh? I thought you'd be a little more curious about how much of your secret I really know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You got dementia. You're the one backing the mole. Isn't that right? Huh? How dare you accuse me of... That's not all I know. Hamura's the middleman. You pretty satisfied with his work? I won't stand for this baseless slander. What proof do you have? <laughs> you just made a big mistake, Shono-san. Huh? You've been working non-stop on this new drug, right? No way the street slang about a murderer would have reached your ears. You were supposed to ask what the mole is. Uh, what is the mole? <laughs> There's a good boy. The serial killer who's been gouging people's eyes out. It all started three years ago, right here in this center. <sighs> you performed an 89 experiment on Wakusan while he was asleep. Probably late at night. And when he died, you did the only thing you could. Snuck him out. <sighs> I'm sure Wakusan's death came as a complete shock to you. But you didn't have time to panic. You needed to hide the body, fast. So you used the laundry cart to transport it without raising suspicion. You just needed to get it as far away as possible. Then, just before 8 a.m., Shinpei Okubo arrived at the hospital to gather the linens. That was your chance. You waited for an opening, hid the body in his truck. That wouldn't solve anything, though. Okubo would find Wakusan, and of course call the cops. Naturally, they'd then search for whoever stashed the body there. But you didn't have any other choice, did you? You had to take the risk. And somehow, it paid off. Turned out, Shinpei Okubo had a criminal record and was worried the police would suspect he murdered Wakusan. So, he didn't report it. Instead, choosing to bury the body deep in the Okutama Mountains. Mm -hmm. You were probably thrilled with Okubo. I mean, it's practically a miracle someone else stepped up and took the blame for you, wouldn't you say? I don't know what you're talking about. But then another miracle happened. One not so convenient for you. Okubo walked. And if he was innocent, that would mean someone else killed Wakusan. They might have even come after you if you didn't do anything. Which is when you sold your soul to the devil. What do you mean by that? Don't play dumb with me. You know all too damn well what I'm talking about. You needed to frame Okubo. And you murdered someone in cold blood to do it. Murder? Who are you accusing me of killing? Huh. I mean... Mm, this is getting so interesting. <laughs> Uh, the nurse? Emi Terasawa, a co-worker of yours, and Okubo's girlfriend. Oh. You forced your way into their apartment and murdered Emi. According to the autopsy report, she was stabbed at least 15 times. I didn't... Did she tell you Okubo-kun had been taking pills to help him sleep at night? 
Conveniently enough, he didn't wake up while you were murdering his girlfriend. Him smelling like booze was probably your doing too. Let me guess, you injected him with alcohol? That'd raise his BAC no problem. And sure, he could have died if you messed up, and that wouldn't have mattered. As long as you could chalk up Emmy's murder to a drunk, suicidal Okobokun. And once you made sure you could pin the blame on Okubo, you set fire to the whole apartment. What evidence do you have to- Don't worry. I can't prove it yet. But I'm damn near positive I'm on the right track. I can see it in your eyes. Look, I know what you're thinking. 89 will save countless people, meaning there's no way you're not doing the right thing. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Shono, but that's just not true. You know, when someone thinks they're in the right, that's when the real cruelty in people starts to come out. So what do you say, Shono? Are you really right? <laughs> Just what is going on in here, dammit? Oh, hey. We were just heading out. Why, you... <laughs> and by the way, so sorry to hear about 89. Maybe you, uh, need a few more humans to test it on? <gasps> Don't worry. Shono-san here didn't tell us a damn thing. But hey... I'm gonna find out the truth. Uh, uh, Even if it's the last thing I do. Goosebumps, guys. Whoops. My foot slipped. How clumsy of me. That hurt, huh? I asked you if it hurt. <laughs> Please! I didn't kill her! You have to believe me! Oh, crying's not gonna help you now, kid. Just like it didn't help Emi Terasawa. You still stabbed her in the fucking stomach! Didn't you, you little shit? Look, Okubo, I don't want to go getting your hopes up just yet. But... Just listen. I was gonna say... I believe you. You didn't kill her. I can see that now. It'll all work out. I'm gonna avenge Emi-chan. And I swear I'm gonna get you out of here. I promise. Sorry, I... I should have said that to you a lot sooner. What was I doing? These three years... I didn't do a damn thing to help you. So, will you give me another chance? Uh, 
Of course I will. Of course. Thank you so much. Guys, that is it for chapter nine. Oh my goodness, I'm getting goosebumps, dude. Like, I don't know what you can see. I now can see it through the camera, but bro, guys, uh, great, great, great chapter. Um, lots of peeling the onion revelation stuff going on here, and uh, uh let, let's let's get the the you know the thing I, I dislike about it. One thing I dislike about it is 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 the fact that you know throughout the story they always trying to like they try to steer the story where yagami is you know believing this guy is 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 uh guilty and i, I think that could have been done better in terms of the writing uh, i know they want to steer to the point where uh the tipping point of yagami's life you know where he realized that he's wrong all that but maybe they presented the evidence a lot better um by you know st like stating or, or or proving that there's in, there's no other possibility that someone else did it except for his you know except for for the okabu right is that his name okabu man i'm so bad with names yeah okabu <laughs> so bad with names um but yeah just just that part is what like kind of eh, got me a little where they keep on trying to steer it to the point where yagami is convinced that Okabu is guilty. And now, you know, with this whole tipping point where now, you know, Yagami's like, oh my god, I'm sorry, that is not, you know, your fault, yada yada, talking to Okabu. Uh yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, but I they could have done better. The second thing is talking to Shono, right? Shono just got this thing in his eye where he had got like either if it's either it's the animation that's that's glitching up. And they they're trying to show certain emotion, but they couldn't do it because of the computer. Um, but it feels like something else is going on, not just not just straight Shono did it, right? Just something else is going on that's like the missing piece, and I really want to see that missing piece, and that's why I get like goosebumps. Um, but yeah. And another theory theory I have is uh, I'm thinking Okubo Okubo might get uh, at you know during the time that he's in prison he probably won't make it out I hope he does I really I truly do um, but I just got a feeling that they might off him just to kind of intensify the the uh, the story a little bit uh, but anyway. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. I'm trying to do something a little different where I'm actually, you know, this this here. It's great. This is great. I, I love this here. So uh, be more of this. So anyway, let's move on to uh, the next chapter, guys.